Pascal's law states, pressure applied on a confined fluid is transmitted undiminished in all directions and acts with equal force on equal areas and at right angles to them. Back in the 17th century, the French scientist Pascal began to define what happens when you use fluid to transmit power. Of course, people have been using fluid power devices like the water wheel for centuries, but his definition, known as Pascal's law, became the foundation for what we now call hydraulics. However, it wasn't until the 1800s that pumps were introduced to effectively deliver high and controlled pressure. In the early 1900s, water was the hydraulic fluid used. For mobile equipment, such as earth moving, construction, hauling, and agricultural, cable and winch systems were used. Around 1924, oil hydraulics were introduced for industrial machines. And by the early 1940s, the use of hydraulics in mobile equipment accelerated. By the 1950s, hydraulic pumps and motors had become a common means of power transfer. Hydraulic systems were being developed to produce high power output while staying within minimal space and weight requirements. Early fluid power systems were simple. As hydraulic systems became more complex, the hydraulic filter, which was once non-existent in hydraulic systems, became a critical component. Today, hydraulic systems are designed to be easier to operate and maintain. This places more demands on the filter. You will learn more about how the typical hydraulic filter works in our Filter Types section.